Hey everyone, Colin here and wanted to give you this update. Uh, yesterday we talked about VRA, veracity. And, um, you know, we were talking about the fact that we have pretty much broken out of this cup and handle formation. And something that I said was very important for me was I need to see, of course, VRA hold support above this level. And in the midst of doing that, I actually showed you guys where I set up an alert here on TradingView to notify me if it was coming back down here and it actually triggered, okay? Um, it actually triggered. It was actually the VRA to USD. So I'm looking at the VRA to BTC right now. Um, I'll switch over to the VRA to USD. But my my alert was triggered so I immediately came in and, um, and and took a look at what was going on so I said let me make another video and as you can see this critical level that we're looking at holding guys is still right here and it's holding as expected um, but we got to bear we got to bear two things in mind sorry about that guys my daughter's playing xylophone in the background <laughs> but um, we got to bear two things in mind Okay, one is that we want, we need to see a daily close at a minimum above this line. So far as you can see, we have perfectly come down here twice now, right here on this line, and we have bounced so far. Um, we have 12 hours left to go in this daily candle, and also 12 hours left to go in this weekly candle as well, right, since today is Sunday. So... Uh, both the daily and the weekly time frame candles are about to close later on this evening. So it's going to be critical to see how we close. Uh, but so far, VRA looks like it really wants to run. Um, take a look at what it did before from this level. It actually went 15x. So from 5 or six Satoshis all the way up to 90 Satoshis. So that's 15X and then it retraced. I think I said this to you guys a bit earlier, even if you bought Veracity all the way up there, it retraced about 67%, call it 70%. But if you bought, the, bought, it, bought some more of it at the dip, then here's what would have happened. That dip that you bought would be up right now almost 300%. Uh, sorry, that's 300% in Bitcoin, guys. In USD, it's more like 700%, right? So it's 300% in Bitcoin profit, um, almost 700% in USD. And we can pull that up just so you can see what I mean. Let's take a look at this. All right. So this is what I was talking about a bit earlier. Let me fix this here. All right. So as you can see, like I said, the first time USD, if you bought all the way at the top, five and a half cents would have been an 86% drop. Right. So you would have gotten crushed. But as long as you held and you bought more at the dip, you would be up right now over 500%, it was as much as 630%. So that's the importance of buying the dip, guys. When you're with a project that you really believe in, that's what buying the dip can do for you, okay? So that's Veracity. A really quick update too for the SHIB holders, for the Shiba holders. You can see here, guys, that, um, well, uh, we've almost got this. Um, uh, we've got this formation happening right here. Usually, to be honest, usually that is like a continuation move up, and and but as you can see, we are running out of space here, right, for this move. So whatever. Shiba is going to do, it's got to make up its mind. Now, if we break down beneath this line and confirm the rejection beneath this line, we should be headed back down at least 
to um, the 2200 Satoshis there. Um, I think the, I mean, the golden pocket is at the 618 level, which at this point is 1952 Satoshis. So, you know, that this is where I actually have my buy order set on that. Um, but let's uh, let's see how that goes. So you look out for that for Shiba. Wanted to bring this one to your attention. Monitha. Um, a monster lying in the shadows, right? <laughs> so Monitha. Um, I got into this trade at... 70 Satoshi, so I'm up about a hundred percent right now in Bitcoin profits. I'm up a hundred percent in Bitcoin, which is up almost almost um, Almost 200 percent in USD profits But uh, huge upside here for Monitha um, as far as I'm concerned in terms of immediate areas that I can see for Immediate areas that I can see for resistance. I'm looking at two, somewhere between 270 to that 370 Satoshis. Because I know if we come up here and we hit this, this is the weekly time frame, we hit that 200 week moving average, definitely we're going to get a rejection there. Right? We should get at least a 30 to 40% retracement, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Um, but that's what that's what I would expect here. However, as you can see, based on its history, past performance, um, huge upside left for Monitha, which has been around since September 2017. Okay, wow, went went as high as 21,000 sats. On Binance right now it's at a hundred Satoshi so um, sorry for the poor folks that bought this thing up there because you would be down right now 97 99% oh my gosh you would be down 99% right now however you don't lose until you sell hold it and uh, matter of fact, now is the time to accumulate more because check this out, you lost 90, that would be 99% down in your portfolio. If you bought Veracity now, and Veracity only retraced maybe, let's see, I'll show you what this means. Let's look at the Fibonacci. If I draw this line from the top to the bottom, Right, so if this thing were just to go, just to retrace, based on how much it's dropped, if it just retraced 23%, guys, that takes us to right there. Okay. okay sorry, let me, I'm just trying to get this fib out of the way now. So if this thing just retraced 23%, if you took another position in Monitha right now, just to get back 23% of the way, that would be a 24x. So let me explain this. Let, let's say you invested $2,000 right there in Monitha, right? You invested $2,000. It's gone down 99%. So, you know, it's probably worth like $200 right now. However, if you invested right now, and that this was $2,000, right? This is $2,000. If you took out another position of another $2,000 right now, even if this took another six months to complete, just going up 23, just retracing 23%, of where it's fallen from would give you 24x so if you invested another two thousand dollars right now that could give you 40 grand 40 grand just this retracement not even talking about your first position so guys again that's, that's why i said that's the power in buying the dip 
So anyway, pay attention to that. But Monitha, like I said, a lot of upside here, obviously. This is, and I've always said it, guys. This is where you want to buy. Not when something is, you know, already pumped five, six hundred, a thousand percent. Find the gems that have retraced. Buy down here. You lessen your risk by 10 times when you're do when you're buying like that. Okay? So huge upside from Monitha. This is like I said, right now, this is a resistance point. Sorry, I've I've got so many devices open with this chart. Um I've there's a lot of resistance right here. Now, obviously, as we can see, we look left. This was resistance, resistance, resistance. So that's why we're fighting this right now. If we break through that, then I think we're going up to the 230 to 260 level, right? Maybe even up to somewhere between this range, between the 230 and 270, I believe. Um, so somewhere in this range, I think we could go as high as. That would be my initial point to look at uh, taking some profits and if it retraces then I will be adding to my position right so I'm gonna sell probably half of my holdings and uh, keep the other half and just let it run right because I've more than made back my investment and I will just let it run for the remainder of the bull run but if it like I said if it can do just if it can just go back even just just twenty percent of where it's retraced from, that from that from here is still like a twenty x, right? So that's that's the kind of stuff that you want to look at. And and hold on, folks, hold on, hold on. I just I just I have to catch myself here. That is twenty x in Bitcoin that I'm talking about in Bitcoin profits. So. Really, you're probably looking at maybe a 40 to 50x in USD because Bitcoin is going to at least double from, I, in my humble opinion, no guarantees, but I can easily see 100x, um, a $100,000 Bitcoin, you know, in this bull cycle, right? I can, I can see that. So if that is what we're talking about in Bitcoin profits, and that's a 20x, if Bitcoin doubles in price... That's 40x in profits in USD, right? So huge, huge upside here in Monitha. I'm actually interested to see what is the Monitha USD equivalent. Let's see. Okay, so the equivalent of that was $1.29. All the way down to... Once, oh my goodness, wow, you're talking about a beating. That was a beating. Man. So, mm, yep. All right. So, pay attention to that, guys. Pay attention to that. We're at a resistance point right now. If we break above that, then we look left. That's a bit more clear right here. We can see 12 cents so that's you know like maybe another 60 to 70 percent up if we break past this point all right so again that's look out for that that's what we're looking for then I could see a retracement back down here at least back down to eight cents so at least a third at least a 35 to 40 percent retracement from that first one and I mean, this is, wow. So, pay attention to that with Monitha, guys, okay? Pay attention. We on the, we are, this is the weekly time frame here. We have the, the 50 week, where we're approaching a golden cross opportunity on the weekly, which is when the 50 moves above the 200 week moving average. That is a huge sign of bullishness for the next several months. For that coin, once we get that um, that cross, usually that's what that means. So watch out for that with Monitha, guys. Watch out for that. Okay. Um, I think that has some huge upside and promise in that sense. Uh, VRA. I took I took my position. I bought back in 
um, at about 53, about 5.3 cents. So we'll see how, how VRA can hold the line, right? We'll see how VRA can hold the line. But like I said, um, at this point, that's the, we'll, we would use that as a neckline for the little handle. The initial, um, the initial take profit level we were looking at was from here, right? We drew from the neckline to here, and we move this up to the top. And you see we actually almost hit this measured move target. Um, if we actually drew this measured move just to the body of the candle, then this would have actually hit it perfectly, right? Pretty much at the body of the candle. There it is. So that's the first take profit point. If we get a retracement now, and like I said, we'd like to see us hold support above here, or we could go back down as far as here. That's not out of the cards, back down to 4.6, 4.7 cents. That's not out of the cards, guys. Okay, so that's possible. Um, but once we continue to move up for veracity, then again, we are looking at, let's take the measured move now from this neckline. I'm going to just be conservative. I'm just going to like right here. I'm not even going down to these other levels here. But if we took that here, then we're looking at an eight cents, almost nine cent veracity, right? And it's at just a little over five cents now. So that's like 80%, 80% gains, right? That's like an 80% to 90% move. Um, on veracity so watch out for that guys um, so I've given you an update on those particular coins there was one other just letting you know that for some reason uh, stellar versus Bitcoin that's coming up in my custom indicator um, looks like a good point to buy anyway huge upside to go but I just want to put that on your radar X Y O okay talked about this a little bit um, so with XYO, okay, it's made a move back up here, which is, which is, uh, that was expected, right? That was expected. Got a retracement from 4.3 cents, back down, came all the way down to 34 cents. And, uh, it's turned around and gone back up now another 20%. Uh, I expect it to retest this level. So if we really want to see what's up, oh, well, let's see. On the four-hour chart, we're still above oversold, um, overbought territory on the four-hour. So that's still a strong move. It, we, we, could have, we could have a further move up on this one. We could have a further move up. It's not out of the cards. We may go up here and actually retest this area, this drop-off area right here, which is 4.5 cents. Or will we even go high enough and retrace the total and um, retest the total high of about 5.5 cents? Uh, that remains to be seen. But watch out for that with, uh, with XYO. Let me see what it looks like on the one hour. Okay, this is what is important to me here. On the one hour, I always look for when we dip from overbought territory into normal territory. And then in the price action, if we retest this high, but we end up stopping under the 70, that's usually a cool out sign, at least temporarily, okay? At least temporarily to head, by, head down a bit further. Um, this would be where my buying area would be um, would be at about the at the 618 level so somewhere around three cents is where I would look to get back into XYO um, I actually bought in down here because I just heard about the app to be honest that's why I did a few videos on the app about how to earn free coins with that app and as soon as I did that and I started engaging on the app, I went and I bought some and I actually ended up buying down here. So 
that buy um, is doing very well right now. But in terms of me adding to my position, I would probably wait for somewhere down here around the three cent range um, for me to buy back in. So look out for that with XYO. They got a lot of great things going on. I'll put a link in the um, in the description of this video as well if you want to um, earn some earn some coins for free. Uh, just using my link it's a very engaging app you can you can mine uh, crypto right from your phone with that and actually exchange it for XYO tokens I, I think this has a very very bright future based on what I've seen in terms of the engagement and how they utilize the coin so um, I think there's a lot of upside here for for XYO so watch out for that as well guys okay so until next time take care and all the best